Hello and greetings to all my brothers and sisters and King Yeshua HaMashiach. Hope everyone's had a great day today. A glorious day. For every day is a glorious day. <clears throat> glorious day in our beautiful King. And sometimes when it feels like he's not there, He's always there. He will never leave you. And he will never forsake you. He's always there. You might not be able to, to feel him at that moment. But just know that God has his perfect reasons for whatever he does in your life. And may be difficult extremely difficult at times um, I know everyone at one point in their life including me included everyone has went through extremely difficult 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 times but God is always there and he's always faithful he does not work the way you think he's going to work that he's always working for us. That's in uh, one of Father's messages tonight. That he's a very active God in our lives. And, you know, we, we don't see him. But we know he's there. We feel his presence when we praise him. We feel his presence. Because his word says that he inhabits the praises of his people. And I pray that Father will lift each and every person up that's hurting in their lives right now. And that he will lift them up and give them complete joy and happiness that only God can give and the peace the peace that surpasseth all understanding and to guard your hearts and your minds because this world is full of evil and darkness and to and for everyone to stay in his word to stay in the word of God that comforts you, that lets you know how much God loves you and how much he's there with you. Even though you don't see him, he's there with you. If you dwell with King Yeshua, he's always there with you. And if you do not know King Yeshua, our precious Lord and Savior of the whole universe. Please go to Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10. <clears throat> and God Almighty himself tells you how to be saved. Because God's holy word is King Yeshua. In the flesh, King Yeshua is the Word of God. You can find that in John, the first chapter of John. You can also find that in Revelation. Uh, I think it might be Revelation 19. Hold on a second. It says that he's the Word of God when he comes back with his bride. And... I've got fumbly fingers right now, so hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, Revelation 19, verse 12. It says, His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God.
Now it's King Yeshua coming back. Um, after everything's done, after the uh, tribulation and everything, coming back with his bride, who was clothed in white garments because he clothes us in his righteousness. And King Yeshua died for each and every person. He died for whosoever. And he took upon the world's sins. And he who knew no sin did that for us. Because he is God Almighty. He always has been. He always is and always will be God Almighty. And his word says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God never changes. And he died for us. He suffered terribly on his cross. And the Father raised him up on the third day. Hallelujah. Papa Yahweh raised his father raised his son up on the third day. He raised King Yeshua up from the dead. And he is alive forevermore and ever working for us, intercessing for us, between us and the Father. Because when the Father looks at us, when we belong to King Yeshua, he covers us in his blood, his perfect blood that he shed for us. And Father sees that blood upon us, his son's perfect, precious, sacrificial blood. And his wrath is turned away from us. So please, if you do not know our precious king, you only have this one life to make that choice. He gives us a free will. But, oh, my friend, if you make the choice to invite King Yeshua into your heart, you'll never, never, never regret it because he is pure love. And come to him in complete repentance. His word says that if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Come to him in complete repentance. Confess your sins to him. And he'll come into your heart and he'll dwell with you. And not only him, but the Father will also come with him because his word says he and the Father are one. And you are sealed when you become born again by the Holy Spirit. And that's in John chapter 3. Um, you are sealed with his Holy Spirit. His, I believe his word says, it actually says forever, but it, it's eternal. Um, you're saved by his mighty grace through faith. Are you saved? It's not of any works that you can do. You cannot work your way to heaven. It's by his grace and his grace alone for what he did for us on the cross. He is the great I am and he is the Lamb of God. Amen and hallelujah to our glorious God Almighty, Jehovah Elohim. So tonight, I'm going to be um, giving out Father's four messages, from two from yesterday and, and two from today. The first two, the ones from yesterday, I, I transcribed and added the scripture to it. But the second two, King Yeshua would like for someone else to transcribe and put the scripture to um, the words for today. So, let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our glorious, 
Papa Yahweh, Elohim, Adonai, Papa of all Papas, Father of all Fathers, Father of glory, Father of grace, Father of righteousness, Master of the universe, I love you. I love you so much and I come to you through your beautiful Holy Spirit and in your precious son's mighty name King Yeshua HaMashiach I bow down to you in complete submission and humbleness your word says humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. And your word also says that we soar in the heavenlies with our King, Yeshua HaMashiach. How I love your word, Father. Your word is your perfect truth. And in John 17, King Yeshua says, Sanctify them through thy word, for thy word is truth. And your word is King Yeshua, who manifests himself in the flesh so he might destroy the works of the devil. And he crushed Satan's head at Calvary. And Satan is a defeated foe. And you have made King Yeshua's name the mightiest name above all names. Your only begotten Son. And with it, with his mighty name, we trample on serpents and scorpions in his mighty name. For we walk in King Yeshua's authority when we belong to King Yeshua. And we are strong in him. When we are weak, that's when his strength is made perfect in us. And his grace is sufficient for us. I love you, my glorious God, Jehovah Almighty. I will worship you forever and ever. And I can't wait to meet my God. And I pray that I'm found worthy to escape all these things coming to the earth and to stand before your perfect and precious and only begotten Son. I pray that all of your faithful is worthy, Father. And I pray that not many people will be left behind. And I pray that not many people at all will take that horrible mark of the beast, for if they take it, they are dead to you. And I praise you, Father, because you will let them know. Your word says that you will let them know what that mark of the beast will do if they take it. That they will be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity, along with the devil and his angels, along with the Antichrist and along with the false prophet. I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, and I glorify you, I glorify you, I glorify you. You are so much more worthier to be praised than man could ever praise you for, for all eternity. 
and beyond that, which I can't fathom eternity, Father. I don't think any human can. But oh, I can't wait to spend eternity with my God. How beautiful are you? So much more beautiful than I could ever describe. And your perfect son is the most beautiful person I've ever met. And he is my reality. He's more real to me than anything else in this world. And how I love him so. He is with me every half heartbeat. And I know that he'll never leave me nor forsake me. And I know that God cannot lie. He will never deceive me. And he will never hurt me. And I love him so much with everything, every cell within me. And I trust him with every cell within me. I love you so much, my Holy Father, Yahweh, my beautiful, perfect Holy Spirit, and my beautiful, perfect King, Yeshua HaMashiach. I love you forever. You are my entire life. And you are perfect and pure love. Thank you for my life, Father. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my daily bread. Thank you for all the blessings, surprises, gifts, and presents, and your huge miracles in my life every day. I love you, Father. And King Yeshua's holy, perfect, mighty, and conquering name. Amen and amen. All right, and here's your reminder. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Put on your spiritual armor of God every day. And also 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 to 5. God pulling down strongholds. He's the only one. God is mighty in pulling down strongholds. And to cast down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And to capture every wicked thought before it takes root in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. That's the most important, is to capture things, to repent for things before they take root, before sin has a chance to develop inside you. Yes, your flesh raises up because it is sinful, and it will be, continue to be that way until we're up there with the Father, our Heavenly Father. But that's what God gives us to do is to repent when we feel that sin rising up in our flesh immediately go to the Father and repent ask Him to take it away from you and He will and also capture those thoughts don't let them take root either because the thoughts are just awful, wicked, horrible thoughts and lift up your shield once you put it on in the daytime. Lift that shield up to quench those fiery darts of the wicked. Because these days they're, they're getting more evil and dark. That's what Father has said would happen. That's what his word has said would happen. And it's happening. And it's so very important to walk ever so closely with our Savior, King Yeshua. 
And I pray that Father brings all of his faithful so much closer to King Yeshua than we could ever realize and to strengthen us in him. All right. Here is Father's first word. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 91, 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 7.16 p.m. on 3 April 2016. Daughter Wendy, write down Father Yahweh's words that were given to you in my eternal throne room, that a few were full of grit from my holy floor after some words fell out of your mouth. Write, my blessed child. My heavenly saints, I address you as such, because that is where you will be soon. It will be my greatest delight to welcome each one of you, my great lights in my son Yeshua. My saints, now comes a time where you will need to have true grit in staying strong in my son. What does Papa mean by true grit? It means tenaciousness, boldness, great fervor in my son. That you know my son and you will fight for your faith in him. Remember, I have told you that what matters is you sticking to and standing in, on, and upon my son. He will get you through. My saints, some of my son's bride understand this concept. Some of you do not. If everything was stripped and taken from you, and all you had beside you, and in front of you, and above you, and underneath you, was my son, would you be happy? If all else was gone, would you curse God or would you stay strong and trust my son for your very life? Would you still sing praises to his name when God has completely brought you down to only yourself? Would you immediately cry out to my son being humbled and broken or would you go the direction of death? I want all of my saints to know this may happen to you. Yes, it very much could. How will you stand? Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal. Okay, and here's Father's second word. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 89, 36 to 37. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven, Selah. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 10.18 p.m. on 3 April 2016. Daughter of mine own heart and of my son Yeshua's heart, write my holy and inerrant words down that you received from my holy throne room. Write, my child. This is going to be a wonderful message of encouragement to all who are ever so faithful to my son Yeshua HaMashiach. Children of the Highest, I see every deed that you do in my Holy Son's name. You are working ever so diligently for your God Elohim Adonai. I see how many of you are translating Father's words into different languages. I see how you are helping your fellow brethren with lifting them up in prayers, giving them my holy words to give them comfort and my contentment through my son Yeshua. Father sees how compassionate you are to the point of many tears for the bride, the body of which my precious son is the head of. Father intends on blessing you immensely, pressed down and pouring forth that you cannot contain. I reward actions of your heart for I know all of your intentions. It pleases me so that the contention and ugliness of my son's bride has almost been completely removed and replaced with love, compassion, mercy, and charity. 
unity of my son Yeshua's bride has made my son Yeshua smile from ear to ear. You have made your bridegroom extremely pleased with his bride. You shall be flying with him up to my heavenlies so much quicker a time than his bride could ever imagine. I have told you that the time will literally melt away. Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, Father enjoys giving out blessings to the pure of heart, has spoken. Okay, in these next two messages, I did not transcribe, and if someone will please transcribe them, that will be ever so great. And thank you very much in advance for transcribing and for uh, finding scripture. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, this is Father's first word for tonight. Please take this word into prayer. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 9.14 p.m. on 4 April 2016. Daughter, who was ever so diligent in serving me, Jehovah Elohim, write the words that you received in my throne room that were extremely sticky and washed down with milk. Write, my child. Come to my son's living waters. His fountain flows freely to all who sincerely comes into his presence. It is lush with greenery all around. It is my Holy Spirit, my Ruach HaKadosh, that He desires to fill you up with to overflowing. Walk in the Spirit, and when you walk in my Spirit, you deny your evil fleshly lusts. My beautiful saints, Father desires all of my children to be in my first rapture. However, this will not be. No, my saints, most of the children that will come to my son will be who is left behind. For they are completely blinded by the God, little g, little o, little d, very little, of this world, which he has been granted to do. I am a very hands-on God, and I expect my children and my son to be very hands-on as well. Did not my beautiful and only begotten son work as a carpenter as his earthly dad taught him? He worked with his hands, and then he worked for me. He did what I wanted him to do as an obedient son. He was and is the greatest example of how God is very active in everyone's lives. You may think that not very much is being done because you don't see the results right away, but I tell you that my son works on your behalf behind the scenes. He goes before you and makes your crooked path straight. I change not. Was I not also very active in the Old Testament? God Jehovah knows what needs to be done in my plan of eternity. I am about to put my bride to much work, so Father says to be ready. Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, I am telling my bride not to lay back, but to stay ready at a moment's notice. Jehovah Elohim has spoken. Okay, and now comes Father's second word for, I said this evening last time, but it's for today. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 9.34 p.m. on 4 April 2016. Please take this word into prayer. My beautiful daughter Wendy, Write my eternal words that you received in my throne room the same time you received my first message for today. Write, my child. Papa Yahweh 
will reveal more to you, my saints. I have yet to tell you concerning the events in my heavenlies. Papa watches over every one who is now with me and my son. My saints, there is still some tears up here, for it is not until the new heaven and new earth is come that I will take away all heartache and all pain. While you are in my beautiful garden of eternity with your God Jehovah, you will see what is going on in my earth. There are saints that are sometimes active down here helping my angels and my son. These saints are part of the cloud of witnesses spoken of in my holy word. Such will be with my son's bride. You will see how my son and his 144,000 will be working down on earth. You too will be working in my heavenlies. Father has told you some of the jobs you will be doing in another message. However, know that heaven is a place where all wants to do work. It is not the same as on earth. This is joyful and not laborious. I am a very active God. It is not what you have heard through the years. You will never get bored by sitting on a cloud playing a musical instrument. No, Father's heavenlies are something that you, O oh man, cannot fathom. It is unimaginable, unfathomable, unfathomable, everlasting beauty, unending fun and celebrations. Trust in the fact that if you belong to my active and hard-working son Yeshua, you belong to me, and where your God Jehovah is, is where you shall be. Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, you will be with your God very soon, has spoken. And I also want to say to be sure and cover yourself in King Yeshua's mighty, holy, perfect, and conquering blood. Cover yourself, cover your family members, cover your animals, cover everything that is that you own, that you touch. Cover your comings and your goings. Cover your vehicles. Cover everything. And um, stay in His Holy Word. And have the faith to know that His Holy Word is flawless. Completely flawless. And inerrant. And it is His perfect, perfect Word. Psalm 1830 as for God his way is perfect the word of the Lord is tried he is a buckler to all those who trust in him amen hallelujah to our wonderful Jehovah God Almighty who cares for every single one of his creation who looks after us even though when we think he's not, he is looking after us, all of us. And he will tuck us underneath his perfect wings. And we will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And Shalom.